Hi guys, my name is Bart Kamski and this is first person template overview. In this series, I'm going to do uh, overviews of the Unreal Engine templates. Let's start with this one. Okay, so first of all, what do we have on the map? We have obviously floors, walls, uh, but we have two types of cubes, this gray one and these white ones. And main difference between them is that this is static and this one is movable, as you can see here. This one is static and movable also have simulate physics on. So you can shoot them, you cannot shoot this. And the difference between static and movable object is static object have uh, lights that are already uh, built uh, and um, baked into the, into the scene. So when you want to move them, you need to build lights again but i'm not gonna do that but if you move these you don't have to do it because those uh, shadows are uh, dynamic okay what else here is first person template um, text render component you can change to whatever you want but you need to press enter after you do that but let's go back to our first person template and obviously you have our character i press g to disable all the to have game mode view so i don't see anything else uh, i see like in the game but when i'm in the editor i need those um, gizmos and stuff so let's open first person character if i'm gonna select it i can do it just right here and i'm gonna open it and it's opening here i'm gonna put it here it is also, if you press this, you have whole tree of what do we have in the project. And this first person blueprint is in content, first person BP blueprints, here it is. I have already opened it here. So, first of all, uh, you can see at the viewport, it has two guns and yeah, one is with hands and one with without hands. The second gun without hands is for VR set. So when you doing it on your PC, like I am doing it right now, you don't need them, but it is already there if you have a VR set. But, and most of the stuff here in the event graph where the all logic is, uh, is going on. So if I press play and I am, and for example, I am, uh, shooting there is I can see this so this is this is even graph everything what happens in the game there is also another graph construction script and here uh, is what is happening before the game so here uh, FP gun is being uh, attached to component to mesh 2p like this but this is again for uh, for uh, VR so begin play again it's checking is head mount and display enabled if true yes but we can disable it because i'm doing this tutorial for pc so let's clean it if you are starting with unreal and want to do first person shooter first project on, on pc you can remove those all you can leave is probably only the first person begin play event because that's always helpful Again, in production reset VR, we can delete those. Uh, yes, we need this. This is uh, axis turn rate, um, and this is axis move forward, and this is mouse input, and this is jump, and this is spawn projectile. Again, here's input touch. I'm pretty sure everyone uses uh, mouse, uh, so you don't need this if you, you are using ma mouse so yeah let's delete this to have a clear uh, clear slate again uh, we don't need this and again using motion control controllers if it's true it's uh, it's using this one but it is false so we don't need this at all Instead, we just plug this here and we can all delete this. So this way we kind of 
clear our blueprint from the VR stuff we don't need but again we can also delete this we can delete this this is motion controller right motion controller left here is VR gun and here's VR marker we can delete this and also VR marker and now we have only one yeah still works so what is what is happening here is this is stick input so this is for controller i don't have controller right now but we can uh, we can um we don't need to use it we can use only mouse and keyboard and this is input axis move forward basically we can check these values let's print string it and let's connect it here it's zero it's printing all the time but if i move w which is forward or um arrow up arrow it is moving so it's changed from zero to one and here here's add movement input function here's word direction it goes the first person camera forward vector and again is head mounted display enabled if true it using first person camera if not it using forward vector we don't need that if we don't have um vr set again here get actor forward vector we don't need that yeah let's make it simpler for our purpose yeah so and if you move backward again it's minus it's minus one and same here is with uh with re left right but let's change the color so we can see this one gonna be blue and this one gonna be red so forward backward left or i mean right left everything works similar with the mouse here is in mouse input <coughs> excuse me this is a turn so left right and let's again change the color to green and yep And again, if we if we attach it to uh, look up, we will see the pitch axis. Jump, uh, it is connected with uh, spacebar, I guess, and in production fire. And all those events are made, are can be made. These are not built in into the engine. You can made it right there in project settings. So if you go there and you go to the input which is in under engine right here input and here are action mappings and here is jump and you have a lot of uh, buttons here so jump i have with spacebar but i can add let's say i want to have jump with z that's very unconventional but let's say and also fire is with left mouse button but i want to i also want to have fire with uh, right mouse button right mo right mouse button here it is you don't have to save it if you put it it is already there it it is set up in config I'm not gonna show you this but um, if you have your settings and you can uh, you will export it then you can import it to another another uh, project if you want so I'm, I'm pressing right, right mouse button but also left mouse button and it works and I have and I jump with spacebar but also I can jump with Z so it works okay input action fire again what's happening here uh, first thing is it montage play so it plays this montage animation like this so it's overlaying this montage animation over our animation i'm gonna go to animation in a minute uh, first i'm gonna tell you what's happening uh, then first montage play animation then it spawns projectile and then it spawns sound I mean it plays sound so let's go to projectile if we click this uh, magnifying glass 
we go to the first person projectile which is also in the first person blueprint and if you open it projectile is really simple it has as a viewport in in viewport uh, we can see the sphere the collision component and also projectile movement component and in event hit when this projectile hits something it checks if it simulates physics if so then this ball is true then at impulse at location and here is the impulse and impulse is based on the velocity which is the basically the speed of our projectile times 100 because the velocity is always the vector um no the, no no the, sorry it velocity is just a vector but it's multiplied by 100 and this 100 is uh the strength of the the power of the um projectile hitting an object and there is location and actor location this actor location pro uh, projectile actor location it at impulse at this point and then it destroys itself after hitting so what is happening here if i hit something i add an impulse to location and then project has been uh, projectile has been destroyed but if i remove it it's not been destroyed and again if this projectile hits something else than the cube this physic uh, simulating thing it has not been destroyed but if you want to destroy it anyway we can just copy this and just put it here so no matter what it hits if it hits something it always gets destroyed but it's better without it uh, also projectile is being destroyed at some point yeah and this is somewhere here so these are the settings for the projectile like initial speed max speed so on and somewhere here i believe there's a lifespan but i had problems finding it and i probably will have problems finding it right now so i'm just gonna leave it but you can you can uh set all the settings of this projectile <clears throat> right here but the most fun one to start with is you can multiply it by some bigger number than 100 so then projectile hits 100 times more than before so when i hit something it really makes a difference this is really cool and again one more thing this uh, has physics on like you can see here and also um mass in kilograms uh it it now when this is not enabled this mass is um, connected to its size so the bigger it is the bigger mass it has so that's why if i hit some smaller cube it has bigger impact bigger you know uh, it moves faster because it's smaller and has a lower mass than the than the uh, smaller cube but you can change that here and just let's make this like really really heavy uh, so if i hit this it's still it's still a lot but maybe if i change my in my projectile velocity yeah sorry guys i'm distracting but this is always fun to play with it and that's basically it what we have here here's a game mode but there's nothing important happening there there's also first person hud uh, which is again checking if we have vr headset we don't need it because we want to draw this texture and this texture is just right here first person textures and this is just a cross we have on the middle on of the screen and even receive draw hot that's um that's even that's probably built in but if we for example divide it by four we will change the um, 
position of you see it is there but it should be by two and you probably can change the all the parameters here here's a color texture white screen uh, dimensions uh, i mean coordinates and all that stuff but by default this is this is okay okay guys uh, that was my first overview of, of first person template i'm gonna do this more i'm gonna i'm planning to do overviews of all the templates there is thanks guys for watching i hope it was helpful if it was please subscribe to my channel check my patreon account check my marketplace assets and all that stuff and see you next time